Okay, let's create an Apple ID on iTunes. So here's some instructions here if you want them. But let's go and you can download it if you don't have it on your computer already. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. And then from the store menu, create, uh, choose create Apple ID. So let's go in and create one. So iTunes, let's open it. Going to open up iTunes. So there's iTunes. Let's just make sure we're not inside an account already. Uh, sign out. Okay, so here's iTunes. And we're not in an account. We're not in anybody's account. So... Let's go to sign in. So account, sign in, Apple ID. Okay, let's pretend we don't have one. You probably don't have one. I already do, but let's create one. So we click create. We're going to continue. We have to say yes to the legal jargon. So I'll just scroll down below. Yes, I've read the terms. Let's use an email. I'll use an email that I didn't use already. So Randy at I'm gonna, So here, you can create whatever password you want. Now you have to answer these questions. What's the name of your best friend? I'm just going to use easy answers. What is your dream job? A job. And what city did your parents meet? I'm in Toronto. Okay, so rescue email if you want. It's optional. Date of birth, I'm just going to say the 1st of January uh, 19. Let's use Canada's birthday, 1967. Would you like to receive recommendations? I'm not going to click on these. Continue. You can click on them if you want. Uh, you must enter a longer answer. Okay, so what was the name of your best friend as a teenager? How about I say my brother? Maybe that's longer. Okay, let's try continuing again. And here you're going to choose none. Okay. But you will have to... Uh, Put in some information here. I just tried to do it without. didn't work. So Randy, and I'm going to say uh, my P.O. box. So if you want to send me info, you can do that here. And the phone number. Create Apple ID. So there it created. Now it's saying it sent a verif verification email to my email address. Oh, I haven't verified it. So I'm just going to pause for a second. I'm going to go look for my email and I will come right back to you. Okay, so here's my confirmation email. I'm going to click the verify now. Let's do that. I'm verifying. Now I can log in. So I'm going to use the password that I typed in there and log into my account. If you use any kind of security program for your uh, stuff, then you can save it. Just waiting for it to go through. Okay, so that's done. I've verified my email address. Now I can close this. 
Okay, so I verified. Now I can say okay. It should accept it. And ta-da! I'm in my account. So now I want to go over here to the right. Actually, I'm going to go up here. Okay, so now you want to go up here to the top. I'm going to click on podcasts. So it brings up all the podcasts. There they are. And you see over here on the right, submit a podcast. So let's click on that, submit a podcast. I'm also going to open up my podcast world. And go into that account. And sign in. So now I'm going to sign in here with the account I just created. I'm going to click here. It should allow me to go in because I've verified everything's set up. Podcast Connect requires an iTunes Store account. Okay, so let's go to the app section of iTunes while we're in iTunes and we're going to scroll down and find the free apps. Okay, so let's put uh, any one of these on. I'm going to say get the app. I'm going to sign in. I'm going to buy it. And because I already have my account set up in there as none, remember we chose none when we set it up, it's not taking me to uh, the payment page. Okay, let's see if I got the email. Okay, now that we've gone and picked up a free item, off uh, the app here, over here. We go back to the podcast. We're going to click on submit a podcast. It's going to take us to Podcast Connect because now we're connected. Now we have to go back to my podcast world. Grab the feed, the RSS feed. I copy it to the clipboard. Go into my Podcast Connect. And I'm going to validate. Okay, so now it's prepared for submission. iTunes liked my feed. I'm going to submit the feed now. And it's thinking. So now it's been submitted for review. What will happen now is you will receive an email in the next few days from iTunes saying that here is your iTunes feed and then you're done. You've submitted your podcast. It's on Podcast Connect. You just wait for your uh, email to come in and you're good to go.